We're talking about state change and how you change your state and when you're looking up, what are you actually doing? You're visualising, thoughts are coming into your brain. Your auditory thought processes are working as well, which also, you know, your whole body is operating with the physiology of excellence, aren't we? Operating with physiology of excellence. Remember what you say, the five principles of success, do not forget them. State versus goal. State versus goal, meaning about learning state this morning, didn't I? Yes. State of mind for learning, state of mind for how you are here now. Are you confident? I put you in a confident state the other day. Yeah. Right now is also. There's a resourceful state. There's different states that we drop in and out of on a regular basis. Sometimes we do get into a depressed state. You said this morning the words in my head. Me. Remember you saying that? Yeah, right. That's a confused state. Yeah. I don't feel with it today. My head has to be in the right place. Yeah. Your head nearly wasn't with you when you got into that conversation. And I started talking to you. He says I wasn't here. Wrong state. In the box of a learning state. Alright. <laughs> With a state, you know, you say when I'm successful, I'll be happy. When I've earned a million pounds, I'll be happy. When I'm rich, yeah. I'll be happy. When I'm making my YouTube videos on thingy, I'll be happy. You can have your state now. You can be happy now. That's the secret. You don't have to have a thousand YouTube videos on to be happy. You don't have to have a million pounds in the bank to be happy. You can be happy now because your state and your goal are two different elements. Say again, please. Your state on your, on your goal are two different elements. Or goal. State you can have now. Any state you can have now. Different now you have the ability to guide your state each and every moment. What do we do earlier on? Modalities? Some modalities? If you think of something, an experience in your life, a powerful one, that was positive for you, that was a learning curve for you, whether it be to do with the classroom, whether it not be to do with the classroom. You think about that intensively enough, and you start writing up that picture. You start making it really colourful. You start making it, you start really thinking about and associating yourself with it. You'll find that experience is going to be called something really empowering to you.